Welcome! In this video we are going to create a minimal Arduino. You can see a picture here of the components that we are going to use. Right in the middle you see an Atmel Atmega 328 microcontroller with 28 pins, the heart of an Arduino. With a crystal and two capacitors we can build a so-called Pierce oscillator. The microcontroller has an inverting amplifier on pins 9 and 10 that we have to connect to a 60 MHz crystal that will act as a resonator. This means that given a pulse, it will resonate at a frequency of 60 MHz. To complete the Pierce oscillator circuit, we have to add two capacitors with the same value between 12 and 22 picofarad. You can see two capacitors of 20 picofarad here. Besides all this, we have a couple of DuPont wires, of which we remove the outer black shell such that we can crimp them easily on the pins. Finally, we use some electrical tape to isolate the connections. Let's now design the Pierce oscillated circuit in KiCad. The first thing we are going to do is to create a project. We're going to call the project Minimal Arduino. We've just created the project and now we can start the schematic layout editor to create our schematic. We see a blank page for our schematic. To add a component we use the A key which gives us access to many predefined components. We search for at Mega 328. I believe we have the PU version and we check whether this is the one we want. You can see 20 MHz, probably an upper bound, 32 kilobytes of flash, and more importantly we see that it is a DIP28 package, so a dual inline package with 14 pins on either side. Let's add it in the middle here and we see now a schematic overview of the Atmega328 component. We can see that our component has a U identifier with a question mark. Each component in the schematic needs to have a unique identifier and later we will automatically assign unique values to each component. The question mark will then become a number to make each component unique. To create the Pierce oscillator we have to add the crystal to ports crystal 1 and crystal 2. We are going to press A again and search for crystal. We can rotate it. We can add it the value to make clear that this is a 16 MHz crystal. We then have to add two capacitors. So we add a component, rotate it. Place it, we can then add the values to annotate the values. We add the value 20 picofarad and for the other one we also add 20 picofarad. We can now connect the components using wires, so we essentially draw a line between the components. Note that junctions are automatically created. We can now connect the two capacitors to ground. With that we have just designed our circuit. The next step is to annotate all components. You can see that the U, the Y and C's all have question marks and we will assign them unique identifiers automatically. 
We use the entire schematic and you can see the annotation happening automatically. At this point we can perform an electrical rule check and debug our circuit. We get many messages and it says here, pin connected to other pins but not driven by any pin. So, pin 8 of U1 is not driven. Let's look at pin 8 here and we see a green arrow for where the issue is. For pin 8 we have to indicate that this pin is a pin that is powered, which is a bit strange for a ground pin. We have to annotate this port with a power flag. We add a power flag, rotate it and place a wire. If we now run the check, we can see that the message has disappeared. Another message is that a pin is not connected we have to add a no connection flag to these pins. Let's do that for all pins that are not connected. We skip the VCC pin and we'll add a power flag here as well. When we run the check we can see that the error message disappears. This means that we have now completed our schematic where we created the Pierce oscillator with a crystal for a resonator connected to two capacitors connected to ground. We can save and close it. We can see that the project now has a schematic file. Finally, you can see a picture here of the minimal Arduino with the Pierce oscillator, the capacitors and crystal, and a wire for VCC and ground. In the next episode we will drive an LED with this Arduino.